Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC 125 alongside Brad Tavares, who knocked out Phil Baroni in the very first round tonight. And uh, Brad, congratulations Thank on you. a big win for you. Um, it looked as though he he rocked you a little bit early. Yeah, he, he How'd did. you recover? Um, you know, when you get hit like that, you don't really know what's going on. But uh, he hit me. I know that he put it on me. Uh, hit me with a hard shot. I just knew that I had to recover, get hold of him and uh, just get my bearings back before he could put damage on me. And so, you know, I just try to stay composed, try to take him down and just recover guard and get back to my feet. And that's what I did. And when we got there, you know, I tried to put my game plan back on him. I guess in the, uh, in the beginning, not so much I didn't respect him, but I don't know, in the heat of the moment, you just want to throw pl punches and you get caught. And that's exactly his plan. I should have stayed away from that. He caught me. I, you know, I'm just glad that he didn't finish me and I'm glad I could get the finish on him. What we've come to expect from Phil uh, as of late is that he comes out guns blazing in the first and then starts to taper off second and third round. Were you ready for that rush from him in the first round? Uh, honestly, I expected that, but uh, you know, I've been I've been following him closely, and he actually had a good training camp with AKA and all those great fighters over there, and so I knew that you know there is that chance that he might come out a little differently. You know, they have they have that saying you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but you know you can kind of give him some new hints and tips. So I, I felt like that, you know, being that he had a good camp behind him, great coaches and good sparring partners, I knew that, you know, he wouldn't come out stupid. And looking at his last fights, that's how he lost. He blew his gasket in the first round. So uh, I was ready for him to come out like that. And when he didn't, um, I actually heard the fans start booing us. I, I guess they wanted to see guns blazing from the beginning, but, you know, they got the fight that they paid for. And uh, everybody that wanted to see that fight, I, I'm sure they got what they, what they wanted. Well, then you rocked him with a head kick to the temple. Clearly, that shook him up, and then you finished him. When you saw that that kick connected, did you know you had to go for the kill right then? Um, yeah, my initial thought was when I hit him, I was hoping I'd hit him more shin, but it was my foot that hit him. It dazed him a little bit, and he told me, come. So I, my initial thought was, okay, I'm going to throw a flying knee. You know, he's a little dazed, but then right on the second, on the spot, I thought, you know what, he might throw that overhand right if I do try it. So I decided to just fake that shot and go with that overhand right, and it worked. It hit him clean. He wobbled onto the fence. I came straight up with a knee. It dropped him, and I just put the finish on from there. What does it mean for a young guy like yourself, trying to get his feet wet here in the UFC to beat a veteran, and uh, in some ways a legend of the sport like Phil Baroni? You know, it was an honor for me to fight him. I grew up watching him. I, I, I remember I was in, I must have been an intermediate, and the first time I ever seen Phil Baroni was uh, on, uh, I don't know if you guys remember that show, uh, Tough Man. Mm -hmm. One, the boxing show, right. and LT was the host. But I remember seeing him on there, and he was a he was a badass on there. He was a punky guy, throwing guys out of the ring and stuff. And then all of a sudden, he popped into the UFC scene, and I was always a fan of him because of his style. That's why he has fans, his style. So me getting a chance to fight him, it was like it was, it was an honor to fight him, to fight somebody like that. And I just was grateful, you know. I, I was thankful that Joe Silva, Dana White, they saw, you know, like. Like some, up, like not like faith in me that oh he here's a veteran guy that and we're gonna let him fight him so I, I was happy about it all and uh, couldn't be more happy with the outcome. I noticed you uh, you you, um, you went to look for him in the locker room. You had a couple words with him. Uh, if you don't mind, what'd you say to Phil? Uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to go tell him that uh, it was an honor to fight him and you know I wish him the best of luck. It, it, it's New Year's Day and I, I just wanted to wish the best for him and his family for the New Year. You know um, it, it's a sport and. We might hate each other while we're in there, but after it's all said and done, you know, I just want to shake his hand and wish him a happy new year, him in his corner. Coming off the show now, now you're sort of on a roll in the UFC. Do you feel a little more comfortable here, like you belong? Um, definitely. I knew when I started out in this that I'd always be here one day, but uh, everything from the, the Ultimate Fighter show, um, everything started popping off. Uh, I only had four fights going into that show, and uh, everything has just been going so fast. And I, I got here a lot faster than I expected I would, but I'm glad I'm here. And I know that I have to keep my training up and at the highest level to compete with the guys in this sport because the sport is evolving along with the rest of the fighters. So, you know, I'm just, I'm glad to be here. And I know I definitely can compete with um, the best here. Finally, um, your fight aired on ION Tonight Live. Uh, it was at 8.55, they squeezed it in, and Dana White said largely, largely in part due to the fact that uh, the fans on Twitter kept uh, harassing him to put this fight on. That must feel pretty cool for a young guy like yourself to have these fans behind you and, and to really push to want to see your fight, right? Uh, yeah, half of the fans are behind me. The other half wanted to see me get knocked out. But yeah, Whatever, uh, at least you got yeah. on TV. Uh, I'm glad that we got on TV, you know, and it was a big, it was a whole, I'm sure you've seen it, it was a whole little Twitter thing going on, Twitter crusade as they called it, and Dana got stormed with tweets about putting me, Phil and I on, 
And uh, I know Dana feels right now that he didn't, he made the right decision. You know, yesterday in the locker room, they talked to us about I on TV, <clears throat> and they told us to go out there and really get at it. Don't, don't, you know, give these fans what they what they paid to see. And these fans that um, they don't even know, they're just tuning in and say, hey, what is this? You know. So now, hopefully, everybody that was watching I on TV is gonna know who Brad Tavares is. Well, it goes down in history books, the first ever fight and the first ever win on I on television. Congratulations, and we look forward to the next one Thank from you. Ariel. You guys have a good one.